write a quartic polynomial with roots at x equals negative 1 half, 1, 3, and 5 with a constant term of 15. So the first step to solving this problem is to take each root and determine its corresponding factor. So the root at x equals negative 1 half, um, we'll start with this one. If we multiply both sides by 2, we end up with 2x equals negative 1. And then if we add 1 to both sides, we end up with 2x plus 1. So this is the factor that gives that root. Next, we'll look at the root at x equals 1. If we subtract 1 from both sides, that leaves us with x minus 1 equals 0. So x minus 1 is the corresponding factor there. Next, we'll look at the factor, or sorry, the root at x equals 3. So x equals 3. Um, I'm just going to skip a couple steps here and tell you that the corresponding factor is x minus 3, just to save some time. And then the root at x equals 5 corresponds to a factor of x minus 5. Okay, so now that we have all of these factors, we just have to multiply them together and then check that the constant term is the same. So how about we start by multiplying these two factors, x minus 3 and x minus 5. So if we use the FOIL method, we'll have x times x, which will give us x squared. So that's the first terms. Then we move on to the outer terms, x times minus 5, that'll give us minus 5x. Then the inner terms, negative 3 times x gives us negative 3x. And finally, the last terms, negative 3 times negative 5 gives us 15. Now, if we combine these like terms in the middle, we have x squared minus 8x plus 15. Okay. Now we have to multiply this by x minus one and also by two x plus one. How about we multiply the x minus one in next? So let's start by doing x times x squared. That'll leave us with x cubed. Then we'll do x times minus eight x. That'll leave us with minus eight x squared. x times 15 gives us 15 x. Then on to negative one, we have negative one times x squared, which will leave us with negative x squared negative 1 times negative 8x gives us positive 8x, and then negative 1 times 15 gives us negative 15. Now combining like terms, the x squared terms combine into negative 9x squared, the x terms combine into positive 23x, and the constant term remains. Okay, so keep in mind all of this was still being multiplied by 2x plus 1, and Therefore, so is this. So now we'll do 2x times x cubed to give us 2x to the 4. 2x times negative 9x squared gives us negative 18x cubed. 2x times 23x gives us 46x squared. And then 2x times negative 15 gives us negative 30x. Then we have 1 times x cubed, and it'll actually be 1 times this whole expression. So we'll just get the exact same expression out. So I'll do plus x cubed minus 9x squared plus 23x minus 15. Okay, um, now combining like terms, we have 2x to the 4. It's the only x to the 4 term. Then the x cubed, we have negative 18 plus 1. So that'll be negative 17x cubed. x squared, we have 46 minus 9, so that'll be equal to 37. Then x's we have negative 30 plus 23, so that'll be negative 7. And then the constant term we just have negative 15. Okay, um, so here we have our expanded form of this factored form. Um, so this is looking like the possible solution to this example. However, we're told that our example has a constant term of 15, not negative 15, which we have here. So that means that we need to multiply through by a factor of negative 1. Keep in mind that won't change the roots of this polynomial, so this polynomial will still have the designated roots, it'll just also have a factor of negative 1. So the expanded form, instead of looking like 2x plus 1 times x minus 1 times x minus 3, times x minus 5. Instead of looking like that, it'll just have a negative 1 out front. So you can see how that doesn't change any of the roots. Okay, so multiplying through by a negative leaves us with negative 2x to the 4, minus 17, or sorry, plus 17x cubed, 
minus 37x squared plus 7x plus 15. So this is our quartic polynomial with these specified roots and the constant term of positive 15.